Hi everybody, I'm going to talk you through a process of recycling um, beer cans. So I set myself and some other people a design challenge, which was to find one object and create an upcycled, recycled piece from it. So taking a beer can, what I did was um, cut it up. So you go in from the side and basically you just cut around it using a nice sharp pair of shears. Just watch your fingers because you'll have sharp edges. Um, I'm recycling this part here. So if there's anything that you're interested on the can, start to harvest it. So you can see I've done multiples of these. So I've got lots of different options and it affords me the opportunity of playing around with it. So, um, Brewdog have got lots of different designs on the side of their can, which uh, kind of led me to experimenting with different patterns. Skinnier patterns working better on these than thicker ones. So what I did was took this, took everything off of it that I wanted and started playing with laying these down on the top so I'm a bit obsessed by Payne's grey um, it reminds me of oxidised copper so what I did was uh, had my button shape and what I found was that if I cut this down I can push this inside of it and it worked really well so I started doing multiple layering ups of these. Painted this but it works just as well with unpainted and just the colour of the can being left over so I'm pushing from the side, tucking it behind and do the same thing on this side. Sometimes you need to pull quite hard so that you get, don't get too much of a lip because you don't want it to sit proud of this. So I was doing some layering up, incorporating some of the, it's getting a bit windy in here, incorporating some of the um, words in the punk, Elvish juice. Uh, these patterns were great. Um, and this is what I've come up with. So, with or without acrylic paint on it and just starting to layer up these patterns, almost making a kind of Scottish tartan, um, Scottish company, Scottish tartan, all kind of worked quite well. So, when you're painting this, what you've got to do is cut it to the shape that you want. And then you're mixing acrylic. So in here I've got acrylic and I've got a little bit of PVA. And then you're just pushing down. Probably need to do a couple of layers. Uh, push down. Do a blanket of acrylic. Let it dry. Do any touch-ups that need done. And then you can start to bring them all together. So after I'd got the patterns bent over, just like this one, what I did was I pushed them in and then if there was anything that needed touched up, I touched it up after that. So what I've got is a collection of buttons, which will probably become brooches that come directly from a can. There has been nothing else used apart from acrylic. Thanks for watching. Bye.